guys. Good morning. How is everybody? So today I am, or this morning, it is Sunday morning, and I am going to be working on Fat Quarter Shop's 2024 Designer Block of the Month. So, and I want to apologize to all of you guys. Um, I had loaded a video and started a series, and I had named it something, Triangles. Well, apparently, the name that I chose for that was copyrighted. Who knew? I didn't know. And this lady, instead of asking me if I would change the name of the video or, uh, or take the video down, she reported it to YouTube. So I had to delete that video and I've re-uploaded it and changed the name of it and linked the pattern because I'm not going to change. I was going to change the pattern a whole lot to make it my own, but I'm not because I really, really like the way the pattern is and I do give credit to people where credit is due. So I am going to sew that pattern exactly like it is and the and I'll try to remember to put a link to the pattern in every description so you can go find it. It is a free pattern by Ruby Star Society and the link is in there. So I really thought that that was, I mean, she could have reached out to me and say, hey, I copyrighted that whatever it is, triangle, I'm not even going to say it, thing. And uh, I would have happily took it down and changed it. But yeah, I mean, it was just kind of, I get it. I get it. People steal stuff all the time, but I had no clue, no clue whatsoever that that was copyrighted. And I understand. I mean, I get it. People steal stuff and make it their own all the time. And I totally get it. It was just the way that it was done. And yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know I always give a shout out to people who I see do things or I'm using their stuff or whatever. So you know, whatever, whatever. I'm, I have not violated any YouTube policies ever before, so they may take my channel down. So if I disappear, and well, y'all won't even be able to find this, will you, if I disappear? So there we go. So anyway, I just, I just thought that that was, you know, quite something else. Okay, so we're gonna take an A and a D. So anyway, I wanted y'all to know that it, you've already watched the video, why it was taken down and why it's being, re oh, and I can't repost it because, oh shoot, I got to go take it down. Give me a minute because I say the words in there. So give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I did. I took the video down and uh, I'll have to totally, um, I'll re-record that and we'll post it and we'll make everything all hunky-dory and hopefully everything will be all hunky-dory, you know, we'll see. And like I said, I totally get it because people do. They steal stuff all the time and I totally get it. But I'm not usually one of those people that does something like that. I always give credit where credit is due. So anyway. Whatever. So I'll just re-record and post how to do it and explain on there, again, what happened. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. So you're going to take your fabrics A and D. You're gonna draw a line on A or you could draw it on D, you don't actually have to draw it on A. And you're gonna sew on both sides of that drawn line. Both sides of the drawn line. I just hate it when people act that way. So I did take the video down. The video is now gone. And all those watch hours that were associated with that are gone too, so whatever. Let's just put that right there. Let's see if we can get this to sew down there. Oh no. Oh no, because see it wants to uh, 
and wants to eat that. So let's give it. Whoops, I'm gonna tear my machine up. There we go. Alright, so now I'm going to cut those apart. Let me sew one of our bonus thingies that we got going on here. Bonus, here we go. People are just ridiculous. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let me cut these apart and press them and square them, and I will be right back. Okay. So now we have this unit done, and our next thing is to take fabric H and F, and we are going to do some more snowballing. Fabric H and F, and we're going to snowball this top corner just like that, making sure. Yep, and then Draw a diagonal line, top left corner, which I just did, stitch quarter of an inch away. Okay, so it is the top left on all of them. I was making sure we didn't have a top left and a top right. I was making sure. This one, let's do a different color. Top left. Oh yeah, that one looks good. And that one looks good. So does that one. Oh yeah, these all look good. I'm just gonna make, before I cut them, 
on the floor. Okay. I was making sure before I, I do have enough left that if I did boo-boo, I could cut more, but we don't want to boo-boo. Okay, I'm gonna trim these a quarter of an inch away. Okay. All right, let me go to the ironing board and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now let's take um, our half square triangle unit, a B, and we are going to make four of these. So we're going to take this, I'm gonna turn this the right way, and we're gonna put it together, can y'all see that? And we're gonna put it together like that. Yes. And, okay, whoop, a little too close to the needle. All right, so we're gonna take one of those and then we're going to take it and put it just like that. And I am pressing my seams open, y'all, just so y'all know. I am pressing all of my seams open. I said, I just have so much better results pressing my seams open. And I took my thingy off because um, I was taking some pictures of my machine so I can list it on Facebook Marketplace. And my little thing, my little so steady thing's not going to go with the machine. I can use it on my Juki. Okay. All right. And then like that. one is we take these units that we just put the little snowball on and we take and we turn it it looks like that right there yes like that right there so let's stitch these together I'm sorry guys that just really upset me it, that did you know it would be I didn't mean it and yeah anyway it did upset me I, I guess I wear my feelings on my sleeve, I guess. So if they shut my YouTube channel down, y'all won't ever see this video. and we made four of those. So I want to take and get this started so I can get those off and take them to the ironing board. So we're gonna take a G and a C and we're going to snowball the top left corner. I just love this fabric. It is so stinking pretty, so pretty. And we're gonna do that on each thing, okay. So let's just get one started so I can get this over to the ironing board. I knew we had a lot of snowballing to do on this quilt as I was cutting it. I'm like, oh my word, a lot of snowballing to do. Okay, and I'm gonna take these over to the ironing board. Press, oh, I ain't finished with these either because I gotta put these together. I just need to go press them first before we put them together. Okay, and I'm just gonna lay that down there. Okay, be right back. 
Okay, loves. So I'm going to go ahead and finish snowballing these and then we'll sew those other couple units together and we'll just kind of keep it chaining, you know, kind of keep a chain going. Okay. Peggers, if you use Facebook, you need to find me. I think you can find me. I think my profile is open where, um, where you could add me as a friend, I think. Any of you guys who would like to uh, add me as a friend on Facebook, just in case they shut my channel down, I don't know if you'll get to see this video. Um, You're more than welcome to. I think, I think you can, but I'm, I am not 100% sure because I just, I don't know. <gasps> oh gosh, okay, and then these go together just like that, and I am going, I'm actually gonna poke a pin. We're gonna pin them, oh, am I recording? Yes, I am recording. Okay, I want to do the poke a pin. That way we can stay in touch Okay, I'm just gonna pin it just right there. Oh, I might not, I might just go ahead and pin it off. And uh, Supervisor Grayson is asleep on the job. Um, I think he is fixing to get demoted from Supervisor. He's neglecting his duty. He's over on his stool. I gave him the stool back. He's over on the stool in front of the window. <laughs> oh gosh. And uh, sound asleep. Yes, Supervisor G is asleep on the job. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm just going to do that. And then this, I just want those middles to line up. Ow, I think I got part of my fingernail with that one. My husband has already asked me what I'm gonna cook for dinner. <laughs> I had some ground beef that I had thought out Friday um, that needed to be cooked. So I went ahead and cooked it Friday. So I've got to make something with it today so I don't know, I might make like a taco, I have this taco bake recipe that I've been wanting to try. So I may take and make that taco bake thing. Cheesy taco casserole, I think is what it's called. I found it on Pinterest. I, did, I find a lot of recipes on Pinterest. I cook a lot of stuff from Pinterest. I do, I do. And then... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? No wonder everything's so squirrely. I forgot to put my foot down. I forgot to put the foot down. I was like, why does it feel like it's not feeding? That would be the reason why everything is so squirrely. And it really does feel that way. It really does feel squirrely. That's the only way I can describe it. It's squirrely. Oh gosh, do y'all love my technical quilting terms? Whoops, that's me pressing on the presser foot while I'm trying to do the knee lift. Scoot my. This one, I went ahead and pinned. All right, so now let's cut 
these are and let's go ahead and snowball the other side so we're going to snowball let me flip my page over just to make sure yes so now we are going to snowball this side from corner to corner just like this okay Whoop. take your time stitch down through there not in a hurry. I want to make a wall hanging today. Um, when I when when I get this fixed, I'll start filming that. I'm going to use Lori Holt's book. I think I'm going to do a barn star. Um, she has a couple of really big blocks in there for barn stars, and I have some fall fabric that I bought. I want to make something for fall. And, Cause I really, I mean, I have pumpkins and things like that, but I'm thinking, you know, to me, my stuff is more geared towards Halloween. So it's a little early for Halloween. I know it's probably never too early for Halloween. I love Halloween. There we go. All right, so now, we can take these off, go over to the ironing board, press these seams open, and let me run one of these through. Let's run one of these through. And I can trim these off and take these to the ironing board too. How about that? We'll do two at one time. Okay, give me a few minutes and I'll be right back, my loves. Okay, lovelies, now, whoops, sorry, making it jiggle. Now we're gonna take I and J and we're gonna do the same thing. Mm. Sorry, had to have a dwink. Sorry, had to have a neat mink. All right. Yes, we're doing the same identical thing on this one. Y'all, I just think this fabric is so pretty. I think I got that one a little off. I'm gonna have to check it. check this one before we go much further. Let me throw this over in my pile and I'll press it in just a little bit. Oh, I think it'll be okay. Okay. I think, I think it'll be okay because I really don't want to have to trim anything off of it. Yeah, I think it's going to be okay. And then let's sew this one. Corner to corner. Okay. This one. one through let me and then we can take the others off and snowball them
it looks like we're gonna use these somewhere else too because I have quite a few left. check my washer and see if my other quilt has finished washing. I took everything off our bed today and washed everything and I'm going to put it out, of course, in the sun to, um, to be sanitized. I'll tell you what, if you want to sanitize something, put it out in the sun. It will bleach the far out of whatever it is. All right, now I'm gonna go check my washing machine and I'm gonna trim these off. And, um, oh yeah, perfect. I'm gonna trim these off, I'm gonna press them and I will meet you guys back here in a second. How about that? I'm just checking them before I get ready to cut them and they all look fabulous. All right, I'll meet you back here. Okay, my sweeties. Now we take these two units that we just made. You take this one and a dark one and put it on the top just like that. All right, so let's put these together. I've got to put my uh, sewing thingy back on here. This one on the bottom. The washer wasn't done yet. <laughs> oh gosh, it's still washing. It should be getting close though. So. Honestly, didn't go check it. I did not, I heard it in there doing its thing and I'm like, oh, it ain't done yet. So I haven't even checked it. Whoops, that like that. I think it's almost time for me to have some lunch. I don't know what I'm going to have. Oh, I put up three quarts of diced tomatoes this morning. Okay, the next thing we're going to take E and K, and we're going to snowball this. So let's go ahead and run one of these through. We're going to snowball a top right. Top right. Yes, top right corner. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this one started. Just like that. All right. And then these should be ready. Yep, top. Making sure I got them all going the right way top because I'm upset. When I get upset, that's when you tend to make mistakes. I don't like getting in trouble. I'm an adult. I know I'm a grown adult, but I don't like getting in trouble for things that I didn't know anything about. I didn't know. I didn't know. So it upsets me. So there we go. And then let's go ahead. Almost dropped it. And then let's put this in here like this. 
My mom and dad are gone today. They've taken a neighbor of ours up to Fort S Jonesboro. I almost said Fort Smith. It's Jonesboro. So they've gone uh, to Jonesboro for the day. And uh, I don't know. It just seems weird knowing that mom and daddy ain't, ain't here. And that they're not going to come barging in at any moment now. <laughs> it does. It feels, it feels strange. Just like yesterday when Jimmy was at work. It was just, I don't know. I felt felt weird. Okay, so we did that one. Now one goes on the bottom left corner. The bottom left. And then it'll go that way. And that one goes that way. Yes, yes, just like that. And then... I stitched that one backwards for me. I didn't twirl it around. Top left. I mean, top right, bottom left, just like that. And twirl it around so that it makes sense to my brain. It's all about my brain. If Jenny says, I have to have it to make sense in my brain how to make it work. I must have cut, I got one too many. Stitch this. Okay. Whoops. I didn't get it cut all the way through. And then I have one more. Oh, no, I don't. I have this one to do. I forgot. I have this one to do. And then, because it was under the needle. I did a glue on that one, but it'll be okay. It will be just fine. Okay. And so pretty. Such soft, pretty colors. I do. I love it. That one looks good. That one looks good. Yep, even though I made a blue it still looks fabulous. Yep. Yep. Close enough. And there we go. All right, again, I'll be right back. Okay, loves. <clears throat> so now we have these units all sewn together. We have, all right. So now we have to take I, and then these units, let's see, they go like that, and then an I goes along the bottom, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I went and gobbled me down some, uh, chicken salad and with crackers just a second ago. I eat way too fast. Yes, I did. I eat, Ooh, I gobbled it down. I know better than to do things like that, but I did. had some of my girls have not been laying in the nest box. We thought that they were laying under the back porch. We have we have a real tall back porch 
for this to be flat country. It's pretty tall. And I can see all the way up under, I'm not crawling up under there, but I can see almost all the way up under there. And I found two eggs uh, last week up under there. So we thought that they were laying up under the back porch. And I'm like, I don't think so. I just, because I don't see any eggs, you know, and there's nothing up under there but dirt. And um, Jimmy, for whatever reason beknownst to him, looked up under the um, sawmill. We have a sawmill, a little sawmill in the backyard. And there were the eggs. Yep, yep, yep. There were eggs up under there. Nine to be a fact, in fact. Um, so I am going to, I got them on to boil right now. Hopefully they're still good. So I'm going to make some, he loves deviled eggs. So I think I'm going to make some deviled eggs with them. We're almost ready to start putting this block together, y'all. And, uh, yeah, yeah, the little turds, little turds. And then that goes just, oh yeah, that's perfect. See, take your time. Take your time. Don't, don't be in a hurry. Don't rush things. Those are all perfect. Okay, let me trim these up, press them, and I'll be back and we'll be ready to assemble this block. All right, my lovelies. Okay, so now we take these that we just did and we put them together. Yep, just like this. Just making sure. So let's put these together. Okay. And then let's take and put these two together. And just a like a shawl. I hope y'all can't see that big blister. Off. That's on my one finger. This one right here. I hope y'all can't see that. I didn't think about putting a band-aid on it. All right. So now, let's do this. Do our bonus quilt. Anyway, if you can't see it, hope it doesn't gross you out. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, and I'm not gonna pause the video in between. I'm just gonna step over to the ironing board because uh, Supervisor G is asleep on my stool that I had set up as a pressing table. He has uh, taken that over. Just did this press and pressing my seams open, of course, because there is this is such a little block, and there are a lot of seams that are coming together. I'm just telling y'all, a lot. Okay. Now we're going to take these two and put them together. Going to do the poke pen method, I do believe. Just so I get these lined up perfectly. I'm so glad I watched Kimberly at Fat Quarter Shop do this poke a pen thing. Because I never ever could get my, um, and we're going to poke a pen here to make sure that we get these to line up. When I press my seams open, I'm like, I can never get them to match. You know, how do how, how, how? Somebody tell me how. And then she was like, poke a pen. And I'm like, well, that's ingenious. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh gosh. Yes, poke that pen. I hold it really good. Ouch. Don't pin your finger. Okay. So now let's stitch. Okay. 
These are so, so many seams, and this is so tiny. I'm gonna sew right up to that pin before I take it out. Sew right up to that pin before I take it out. And let's see, can we make these line up just a little better? Close enough. Close enough. Uh oh, whoops, I slung quite a few of those down in my trash can. No, I don't want those in me trash can. this open. I'm going to carry this stack. I'm not going to press these, but I'm going to carry the stack over there so I can press them here in just a little bit. And get this pressed open. Oh yes, that lined up so good. Okay, let me set the pressing block on it for just a second. Just so you know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. So now we have this. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay, so we made one of those. So now the next thing to do is to sew a simple block press open. Okay, so one of these is going to go on each side of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put one on each side. This is my first designer mystery quilt with Fat Quarter Shop. I've never done one of their um, mystery quilts before. And then, you know, I'm doing the Cotton Cuts PMQ Puzzle Mystery Quilt. And it's the first one of that that I have done. Okay, and then that goes just like that. Um, there we go. I can't, I, I can't wait to see what the cotton cuts is going to turn out like. Oh, I'm not matching my, whoops, I'm not matching my centers up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pull that one off so we so want to keep my chain going. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Okay, yep, that goes to the inside, just like that. Okay, and then we need one that's going to go down like that. And this is gonna go up like that. This is the bottom. And like I said, I didn't think. One of my neighbors is doing a whole lot of car door slamming. I don't know which one it is. But they're doing a whole lot of car door slamming. Okay. So that one goes like that, and then the next one is going to go like that. Okay. I don't know which neighbor it is. They're slamming their car doors. Looks like it's lining up pretty good, even though I didn't do the poke pan. This is the bottom, and 
then this one will go like that. get that out from under the needle. Let me find. Uh oh, that's a little, I don't want that color right there. How about this color? Nope, don't want that one right there. Oh, here we go, this one. All right, let me go press these open and then we're gonna come back and assemble our beautiful, this is so pretty. And then we're gonna assemble our block. All right, she is all pressed and ready to go. You know, I still have yet to receive an email from YouTube saying that I was reported. I would figure that would be like the very first thing that I would get. So, makes me wonder if I jumped the gun with deleting my video that we had comment, commented and talked on, but it's okay. Uh, things happen for reasons. I'm a firm believer in that. I am, I am. I believe things happen for reasons. While we may not see them at the time, or understand why things happen, We can have faith that they're for a reason. I will hopefully I am not wiggling you guys I hope not as I'm reaching into my little bowl I have a little bowl right here beside my sewing machine that has all of these pieces in it so I can stitch them together excuse me I am so sorry this is so stinking pretty a lot of seams I do mean a lot. I am actually pressing here, picking my iron up and putting it that back down, not gliding it over because there's just way too many things and you're going to end up with something flipped. Just like I just did right there. Let me see if I can get this to lay back down like it should. I'm gonna, I want one of those mini Alessio irons. Alisso, oh, Iso, oh, however you say it. I do want one of the mini ones. I do, I do. Okay, so let's, doesn't seem like it wants to lay flat. It doesn't look like I, I did press it good. 
I'll give it another good press after we get this on. So let's line. I gotta get it over here where I can see it, guys. I'm, I'm sure y'all can't see what I'm doing, and I'm sorry, but I'm pinning, and I have to get it over here where I can see what me is doing. Get it started. I didn't pin as much on this side. I'm gonna see what it turns out. and got me he's burning some stuff out of his shop and I have laundry out on the line and I told him I said Jimmy you're gonna get smoke it's gonna get all over our clothes I mean come on dude I swear sometimes men can do the most ridiculous stuff and I'm like Jimmy I don't know if y'all y'all have that issue or not am I in this a while I'm surely not in it alone. Surely not. Oh, gosh. Yes, I'm like, seriously, Jimmy? Couldn't believe he did that. I mean, it's too late now. It's was almost completely burned down. I had no stinking clue. So probably all of our clothes are going to smell like Smoke, wood smoke, at least it's wood smoke. I like the smell of wood smoke. But I was like, really, Jim? All right, let me give this a really, really good press. Still doesn't seem to want to lay flat. Right through there, there's a little fullness. I'm gonna give it a spritz. That might have, I may have just boo booed by giving it a little spritz, but I'm gonna give it a little spritz. Oh, it still turned out beautiful. I don't care. Let me knock this stuff off of this and let me lay it. Let me lay it on a design board and let me grab you guys. Well, let me see. Can I just roll you up? I think I might can just roll you up. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I gotta unplug my phone. There we go. I think I can just roll you guys up. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? It did turn out really, really good. It did turn out, but it's some little T90 seams on there, guys. All right. Thank you for joining me. And you know what? I'll meet you back here in the sewing room. Bye for now.